What is up YouTube? I'm Loverber2008 back with another video. And as you can see, we are in Black Hawk Rescue Mission 5. Don't worry, I will be back in uh, Maple County and ERLC soon. But for now, after the next video, which is going to be me showcasing uh, some other weapons in BRM5, I'll be going back to Maple County to make some content there. For those who don't know, BRM5 is a game a military game where you save hostages and shoot down host hostiles. This is mostly in a military setting, so a lot of stuff you see here will be military based. And that's why the weapons here are all uh, used by militaries, so you won't be seeing any civilian guns here. And if you go into Trello of the suggestions page, well, you won't see uh, any sort of civilian guns being suggested because, well, you aren't allowed to suggest that. This same goes for prototype weapons like the XM8 and even things like optics like the XM177 if I remember correctly. When the devs are making this game, they always try and make the guns here as realistic as possible. That being said, however, there's still quite a few mistakes in the game that needs to be addressed. So today, I'll be showcasing these mistakes here. Please subscribe, like, and comment. And, uh, okay, yes. Finally, we can go into the... Alright, so let us start with the biggest elephant in the room. That being the G36. So, under its designation as an assault rifle, this specific variant is actually the G36 V. V meaning variant, which is the export variant of the G36. As you can see, as the uh, it doesn't have a integrated reflex sight that the original G36 used, as well as the lack of a bayonet mount. Now, the problem arises with the barrel length actually, because this variant has the 12.5 inch barrel. The problem is, the 12.5 inch barrel is actually used by the G36K, which is a carbine variant off the G36 and the G36V. This G36 right here is actually a carbine. So it's actually given the wrong designation as an assault rifle. It should actually go into the carbine section instead, but for some reason it isn't. Then you also got the 3.5x carry handle optic. The problem is, these carry handle optics, they only come in two magnifications, 1.5x and 3.0x, uh, so that's wrong also. Going back to the barrel length here, as you can see, we also got a 14.5 inch barrel, but this thing doesn't actually exist. The G36 actually has three different barrel lengths. The 18.9 inch barrel that is used by the original G36 and the G36V, the previously mentioned 12.5 inch, and the G36 Compacts, or the G36C's 8.98 inch barrel. With that in mind, this 14.5 inch barrel should, shouldn't exist. It should be replaced with a 18.9 inch barrel so that people can actually get the G36 they want. Um, I do not know how this 14.5 inch barrel came to be. If anyone knows how this got here, let me know in the comments below. Yeah, that's three mistakes with the... G36 is actually a carbine, it's been given a wrong or non-existent barrel length, and has a wrong magnification for its carry handle optic. So let's start with the mistakes of the UMP45. So let's start with the handguards, alright? So in this uh, game, there are three sorts of handguards. You have the original DEM handguard, the rail version of the DEM, and the real drop-in. Now, here's the problem with the second one, alright? So, these ones do not really exist for military variants. Don't get me wrong, these do exist, but these are only for the Tommy build variants of the HKUMP. So, these tribals are actually for civilians. Speaking of civilians, not only this is wrong, but the real drop-in is also wrong. This is actually a substitute for a 16 inch barrel for the UMP45. But guess what? The 16 inch barrel 
is also for civilians as well. How they got to this point, I am not sure, but this is definitely wrong here. This cool leaking UCS stock is also used by the civilians as well. Civilian models are for the UMP, specifically the UMP9, which Heckler & Co. actually sells to civilians. I'm just going to qu quickly make the civilian variant of the UMP45 minus the magazine, so let's just show you. So, uh, there you go. This is actually the civilian variant, or at least what we can make out of it in BRM5, that is actually sold in the HK market. The only difference here is being that the magazine, because we can't really edit it, because this specific variant is chambered in 45 ASP, while the civilian variant is actually chambered in 9mm. So, it's funny, considering that these, for a military game based around trying to make things realistic as possible to the to military lifestyle, it's funny how they have these civilian sorts of uh, attachments to it, such that even the military doesn't even use. How they got here? Once again, I don't know. But if you want to keep things realistic as possible, it's best if you just keep it the way it is. Maybe you can put an optic here or something. I don't know. It's up to you in the end. But uh, yeah, that is the HK UMP. There's the civilian attachments here. And while we're on the topic of civilian attachments, actually, why don't we take a look at the M1014? Uh, th th there's too many, well, the civilian attachments over here as well. These stocks right here. These field and fixed stocks are for civilians as well. They are only for civilians. I mean, this collapsible stock is only for the military. But even then, civilians can get their hands, hands on it with thanks to the help of aftermarket sales. Um, no, uh, maybe not these. Actually, maybe these, because these fuselages, I don't think the military used them. Same for the GK-02. And what about the handguards? Well, all these handguards right here are actually used by civilians. They are made for civilians. And sure, you can argue that the L-128A1, or the British variant of the, of the M-1014, they used rails as well. But the problem is, all these rails right here, they have a top rail. But the L-28, L-128A1 doesn't actually have that top rail over here. It's only just the sides here. Like, think, think of the quad rail, but without this top rail and only just these, uh, these side and bottom rail. That's the L-128A1 rail. So all these here are actually made for civilians. So it's... It's made me wonder how they even got into the game in the first place. I understand the need for customization, but for a military game that's solely based around trying to make things as realistic as possible, this kind of contradicts itself. If you really want it to be as uh, realistic as possible to military, the only way you can do so is just to retain it by its original look. The, so you can't make edits to it whatsoever, and well, yeah, you can't really do much to it. Alright, so we have covered these three guns already. Now, what about something else? Maybe another submachine gun. This is the MP7. So uh, let's take this out for quick shooting real quick, alright? We have the MP7 and we have the M17. They should be chambered in the same round, but okay, maybe I'll just use the Glock just in case the M17 here is rigged as well. Alright, so here you have the MP7. So uh, let's uh, quickly shoot this thing and check out its casings. Alright, cool. So these are the casings over here. Now remember these casings as we uh, shoot the Glock. Look at this. So you might be wondering what is the mistake here, Lava Bert? Well, because the MP7 is actually chambered in a different round compared to the Glock 17. It's not chambered in 9mm, contrary to what a lot of games depict. The MP7 is actually chambered in the armor piercing 4.6 by 30mm armor piercing rounds. And as you can see in the footage which I just showed you, these two guns, the Glock 17, which is chambered in 9mm, 
and the MP7 showcased the casings having the same length and the same width, meaning that this MP7 is actually chambered in 9mm, which is actually, once again, wrong. On top of that, there's also this stock right here, the skeleton stock. It, it's bad, alright? Don't buy this. It's expensive. It requires you to grind. Uh, it's, it increases recoil and increases your weight. Just, just don't, alright? I don't know what, what kind of person would buy this. But uh, anyways, this skeleton stock right here isn't actually used by any militaries. It seems to be modeled after the FAB defense stock, which not really didn't really get integrated into any sort of armed forces. With that in mind, actually, this MP7 should technically deal more damage since it's using the 4.6 by 30 millimeter armor piercing rounds. But even then, I don't know if that's going to be true. I want let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, for our next one, let us talk about the AUG. Give me a minute here. So, the AUG right here. Now, nothing seems to be wrong with this, right? Well, wrong, because every, every gun I'm going to show you here has something that is wrong with it. So, uh, let's start with the barrel legs. Of, no, not flashlight. Um, Barrels, here we go. So, as you can see, this thing is given a 20-inch barrel and a heavy 24.4-inch barrel. Now, the problem here is that the Austrian armed forces uses the AUG A3 with a 16.0-inch barrel by default, which is somehow not in the game. So, these 20-inch barrel and 24-inch barrel, they do exist, but it doesn't really make sense for it to have to not exist since, well, 16-inch barrels are actually there. On top of that, if we go to the handguard section, you can see we all we have all these sorts of uh, stuff here, right? We got the SF, the rail pack. So you can see the SF isn't what I'm uh, going to talk about, though. It's actually the rail pack and the CQC. Why? Because the CQC, the CQC handguard right here, this is actually a prototype. Uh, so if you remember what what the Trello said, he says that the uh, these uh prototype. Attachments or guns, they are not allowed into the game. For some reason, however, this thing exists. Well, technically, they aren't wrong, though. These, these This is actually available as a civilian uh, handguard. But the problem is, civilians and military, you get the point already. You also got this rail pack right here. And guess what? This doesn't actually exist either. So, yeah, starting to be a party pooper, but this doesn't exist. So yeah, that pretty much covers the AUG. All right, for our final entry for today, we're going to be talking about the L85A2. Why? Well, let me just show you. Let me just show you how it shoots. So right now we have the L85 right here. So uh, let's give this a quick shoot and see what's wrong with it. You see that? The casings. All dropped out. It, it didn't jam. Why does it not jam? All right, just, just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. All right, this thing is actually based on this is actually the L85A2, but the one that jams actually is the L85A1. So they did get that right. Don't worry, they are the 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 game depicted this correctly. Our final real entry here actually is going to be the MK18. So. Let's talk about our barrels again. These 10.3 inch barrels and the 11.5 inch barrels are depicted slightly longer uh, than the name suggested. The R, then you also have got this handguard right here, and the wrist to handguard is smaller than the actual counterpart. It's also the wrong color. The D, the real one is actually bronze in color. Meanwhile, this one is in some sort of um, yellowish gray color. I, I, I don't know how it's called, but you get the idea. But uh, yeah, that does it for today's video. I really hope you learned something. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, yeah, I'll be showcasing the all the vehicle mounted weapons as well as all SMGs in the next BRM5 video. So uh, next video, I'll be covering. Uh, the new ERLC summer update, as well as the new summer event that Maple County has to offer. Alright, 
This is Lava Bird going 10-7. Later, people.